Hey gang, welcome back. And this week what we're going to do is we're going to go hit three different creeks, including the one right behind me, with a detector. So let's see what we find right now. Not sure how well you can see this, but here's our here's an interesting looking fragment. There's a maker's mark on the bottom. Huh. Here's a 1516, kind of an irony signal, I guess. What do we got? Oh, shotgun shell. It's a good sign though. Look how preserved it is. UMC Co. Remington. Sure shot. This one's loud and proud. Whatever this is, I've got it in my hand here. There it is. What the heck is that? <laughs> I have a big bolt going into something copper. No wonder it sounded a little funky. I could be wrong, but I think I see a piece of stoneware here. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. A little piece of pottery there. Pretty neat design on that one, huh? This one's an absolutely insane signal. That's it right there. Look at that. This is part of the uh, bit for a horse. That's what that is, I believe. Looks like it anyway. By far my signal of the day right here, which probably means it's a can, right? You know, I don't know what that is, but it's brass. Interesting. Listen to that. Supposedly, it's right on the surface here. Let's see what we have. Yeah, what's that? You know, I've seen this stuff before, but I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments below. All right, Creek 2, first signal. It's kind of like uh, 12 to 15. So we're in that range. There it is. The heck is that? It's round like a button or coin. It wasn't even deep. Just kind of in a washed out spot. Very slick. This is kind of like a high tone almost. It's a 17 that way, but it's up to 34 the other way. Bullet. Smashed bullet. I could be totally wrong here, but this to me sounds like two signals. There's one signal right there. <laughs> yeah, they sound juicier, right? Because they're not even old. Look at that, they're not even corroded. These are gonna be fresh drops. I bet you the other one's a coin too. Jeepers creepers. Modern clad in the stream. This one right here is kind of high tonish. 20 to 25 one way, 20 the other. Not a bad sign if I don't mind saying so myself. <clears throat> Deep signal. Sheet lead. Not what you want to find in the water supply, I'll tell you that. We'll give that to my buddy Ed. He melts this stuff down. There's just some iron on shore. Pretty thin though, but it looks like maybe it was part of a pot. See, there's a rib on there. Kind of looks to me like part of a bean pot. You know, there's a theory going around, I guess, that these round holes in these rocks were uh, <clears throat> grinding marks from the Native Americans, the Mohawk Indians, I think it was, that used to grind up stones on these, or uh, stones and nuts. Here looks like another piece of pottery. Sure is. You know, at the top of the hill here, there's a 1700s home site, so I'm hoping that we're close to this. It's kind of trash, it drives me nuts. I don't even know what that is. Bread bag, maybe? Kite? Who knows? <laughs> we'll take out another shard here. It's a little bit different style right there. Kind of more like a stoneware pot or something. I doubt this is anything old, but... <laughs> we got ourselves an awesome Frisbee. Right, 
here's the wrap-up for the three hunts. Nothing too crazy. Did find this, it says debutante on the bottom, and I believe this 51 means that it was manufactured in 1951. Some of these other pieces do look older to me. I mean, that's, that's a cool design. Yeah. This one's what I talk about when I say age. I mean, this little, like, kind of stoneware thing looks pretty ancient to me. Especially where I found it, you know? Some real interesting fragments to add to that collection. Stuff. Got this uh, nice Remington UNC head stamp. As well as this thing here. So if you don't... I didn't know at first what this was. What this is, is it's a core out of a radiator. And all these lines would be the fins. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about right now so you can see what this hollow tube would have been to. A little horse bit. And lastly, our mystery coin. Not sure what that is. Don't think it's a button. I don't see a shank. I mean, ignore that, right? It's so off center. I highly doubt that would ever be a shank. It just looks corrosion to, to me up close. Maybe a farthing. I don't know. I kind of see a little man on there, but I'm not sure what that could possibly be. Well, gang, thanks for joining us. I know we didn't find anything too crazy today. You know, we found the one coin, but that's about it. So maybe next time we'll get something better. I think we might actually go swimming next week, go in the water, do some water. That sounds nice, right? So we'll see you then. Have a great week.